finding to find out where it applies. Question is, how does that even begin? Pete Williams, thank you. I want to bring back in Judith Brown Deanna's co-director of the Advancement Project. So where do you begin? Well, I think first we, we should look at the states that are already covered. You know, when you look at those states, 81% of the cases that were brought under Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act, which allows organizations like Advancement Project and others to actually bring affirmative cases to stop um, voter discrimination, 81% of those that were successful cases were in those covered states. So we know those covered states still have discrimination. We're not talking about 1962 discrimination. We're talking about 2005, 2006, 2012 discrimination. And so I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to just have to bring out the record. We know that discrimination still exists in those states. We know that discrimination also exists in other states. And you know, when we look at 2011 and 2012, what the states tried to do, uh, many states tried to roll back voting rights by making it harder to vote for people of color. They did that because they knew people of color turned out in record numbers in 2008 and voted for this president. And that was discrimination. And so we're going to have to set the record straight. We're going to have to show Congress, and, and many people in Congress already know, that there was discrimination that is current day discrimination. And, and we have a lot of evidence of that. And so we'll be bringing forth that evidence to Congress. I mean, it's a shame that we have to do that because we know and the court knows that discrimination still exists. We know that we want free, fair, and accessible elections. We know that there is there is still um, there are cases that are still pending. Um, the Texas voter ID case was stopped 